Hey guys, it's Flamebot Games here, and today for my first video, I'm going to do be doing something special, which I've been working on for around a year, uh, on and off, and it's been block like I've placed block by block. I haven't used any thing like World Edit or MC Edit stuff like that. I think. Um, so here it is. If you can't tell what it is by that it's a ginormous football stadium and in this video I'm going to be giving you a tour off it uh, hopefully you will enjoy and hopefully it's not too laggy because um, like my laptop's not very good for running big files but yeah this is like what it looks like from the outside it's not that sound was annoying but it's not based on any particular stadium, it's my own creation, it was fully random and if I show you this bit here, this shows that it was built entirely off an island, so I f just went f uh, flying for ages and found an island and I just started building on it, so I'm just going to start the tour by entering as a fan. So if you're a fan, you would enter past the, uh, this, which is quite nice. And you go through here. Hopefully it's not too laggy. Please don't be laggy. There we go. Okay, and this bit, this way you can get a program like for what's going on, and you can get all of that stuff. You can hear an annoying villager, but you will hand your ticket in as well, and then you can enter the stadium. This is the stadium. Hopefully it loads. I am on a uh, short render distance so it loads reasonably well. But this is this is what it looks like from up uh, from inside. So what you have here is you have the seats to my left and as you make your way to your seat. So if I was sitting about here, this would be my view. Shut up villager I'll come kill oh for god I'll come kill him in a minute. But uh, when you're in here you can see the stadium or the pitch really well and then just where my um, cursor is that is where the managers will sit but I'll get to that in more detail a bit later I'm just going to go in far render distance so that this loads quickly so that you can know what it looks like <laughs> this was obviously built in creative mode or this if it was survival this would have taken me around like 10 years that thing you can see at the top that's just like a little uh, m like what makes a stadium special or unique in a way like uh, the Arsenal stadium the Emirates has a ginormous clock but this is what it looks like uh, from where my seat is at the moment the pitch there which I'll go on soon once I've showed you all this but first I'm gonna make my way up here into this nice little private area when match time's on a TV would be fitted on this on these walls and uh, they'll be able to sit in here I'm gonna just gonna change it back to short render distance so it's not too laggy because lag annoys me uh, so when in here you be able to eat uh these annoying guys uh I would serve you food and stuff and they're really really annoying so you might have to get them to shut up during the games uh down here that is where like tv crew come in and they uh just report on the match that's what that's what it looks like for them so they'll be all huddled around there talking, the cameras will be set up. If I go higher up, these are to uh, the cheaper seats because, oh, well, no, I wouldn't say cheaper, it's quite a good view. Okay, so if this is right at the top, uh, from you can stand up here if you wish, because I know people at stadiums like to stand up a lot. And I'm sorry if this is laggy, it's, it's annoying me as well. But from up here you can stand here and just look down at the game hopefully it'll be a good game if you go and watch uh, but also like all good stadiums have they have a bit at half time where you can go outside and buy food and this is what it is this would be um, during a match this will be full up with uh, supporters 
but this is where you can line up and buy food. It's like the kitchen. And there's all of these different types of food, each costing uh, more than others. And then, come round here, round the edge. I'll, sh I'll walk round this all soon. Um, but come round here and... Or is it back here? Nope, it's there. Uh, here, you can walk down. And this is where the toilets are. But it's not just where the toilets are. But it's also where another box is, which I will show you. So you walk in here, and it's this is the men's toilets. So you have the sink here, hot and cold, the urinals, and the other toilets where you take a dump. Um, and then you come around back outside, and the box is quite plain. But anyone's allowed in here. This is just like a nice little place where you can just watch the match talk, things like that. And then you can come up once you you're done down here, walk up the stairs, and you'll be back in this area. There's another food court kind of thing where you can buy food, and then you can enter um, back into the stadium to watch the game. In each segment, like there, you can see another box the box is there as well and you would be able to see it but on bad render so you can't but it'll be right at the back so each one has its own type of uh, thing so yeah uh, so now I'm just going to pretend uh, I'm one of the players so if I'm on the pitch which I am at the moment uh, after the game once I've scored of course because you know I just would score. Uh, I will. The match will end. We'll shake hands. The score will probably be like 50 nil to me. Um, and the manager will be sitting here with all of the substitutes. We'll all go in here, and we will enter the changing rooms for the home and away team. But first, we'll go into the interview room. So here, this is where the players get uh, get talked to by the TV crews so it would be like this and then uh, so yeah that's that room and then across here there's the uh, medical room which is where if a player's injured they'll just come in here but down here is also where a man would sit or a woman and they'll be doing all of these different boxes like f if you hit the free kick button uh, it's like a running commentary off the match, penalty, substitution, full time, half time, uh, sprinklers which will just make it rain and water the pitch, goal, offside, yellow card, red card and stuff like that. So that's where uh, that will be. Hopefully I... Okay, yep, I can get out. I was, was going to be like, no, I can't get out, but luckily I can. I'll start with the away team first. So you enter here, it's really dark, the the away team players will be sitting here uh, and they've got a massive wall in their way so that they can't really talk to the other players, they'll be really crowded, it'll, they'll struggle to walk past, it's really dark, really boring and it will make the players feel bad so that then when they come on the pitch they won't really be ready to play, they won't be looking forward to it and it makes it hard for the manager as well. They also have to reach for their uh, like clothing, uh, <laughs> clothing. Uh, but yeah so that will make that could cause an injury. Then when they come outside it's still dark green grass or dark green uh, carpet so it's still sad. Uh, this is where they would eat food, it's all uh, broken up so that they can't really talk still. This is where they would be served. They would mainly be ser served like raw f food. This is where they can just kick a football. But it's not very nice as you can tell. There's loads of... It's all dusty and stuff. But then, if you're a, a home player... I'll come around here. I, I wish it would stop being laggy for me. Because it's really annoying. But, uh, yeah. You come around here and then to the home bit. In this place you have a bright carpet, it's all open and the seats have lovely 
uh, cushions on so that it will be comfortable, you'll be able to relax and be excited for the game ahead. But then if you're hungry you can come out here and then eat some food. The f uh, this place it's not very broken up, you can talk well, everyone's together uh, and through here there's a nice hot tub there that the players can relax in and then this is where they can kick food, it's a lot more open, like nicer than the away teams. And the players would enter this place through coming through this bit of the pitch. Or pitch this bit of the ground so I'll walk down here look at the stadium and they'll just enter through the door here the fans will be blocked off from getting to them because you know what fans are like at games uh, but yeah and this is what it looks like I'll go show you some in more detail a bit later but I'll f just fly around I think this might be the last bit to show you I think other than uh, stuff like that, yeah. <laughs> but I'll just fly around just so I can get there quicker. But this is what it looks like from here. Hopefully, it loads. I'll just go into far again so that you can have a nicer look because I don't think you've seen the stadium in far. Um, you can fly around the edge. There's uh, that's the path for the uh, people, the fans to walk around. It, uh, I was going to build a road for like to connect it all but I just thought no that's going to take forever so this is what the stadium looks like and I'm going to show you in a minute once I reach there I'm going to show you what uh, the what's it called a uh, mega store looks like okay so this bit this little shop here the well lit up store that is the mega store but quickly I'll change it back to shop Yes, I know my computer's not very good for running stuff like this. But there's also a little bank here, so you can take out money if you need to. You take out £50, £30, £10, £1, <laughs> just random £1, £2, £20, £60, and £100. And all it is is it's like things like block of diamonds, uh, each re represents a different currency. Uh, and then this is an electric door it is going to be laggy so you're not going to see it work very well when i walk through but it does work so the doors are closed i'll go through it see it stops there you just hear it oh and it locked me out okay that didn't really work very well okay uh and it makes a really loud noise but hopefully i can reach it did i make it oh for god's sake okay well it works but just not very well so uh inside the mega store it's very open uh, the door annoyed me, so I broke it. But in here, here, this is the place where you get your shirt printed. So you put it in there. You'll come up. You'll put your name on the back or the name of a player that you want, and then you can buy it. And then the I'll just show you all of the kits for each uh, for my team. The goalkeeper kit, the shirt, shorts, and socks look like this. So it's white bl and black. The second away kit is all uh is that brown or is that normal leather i think that's normal leather it's uh all red i can't really tell very well but it's black socks as well the away kit is the f normal away kit is fully blue and then the home kit is yellow and black so once you've found the kit that you want you'll come here and you'll pay get the kit and then if you're a staff member you walk around here because you normally run out of shirts quite quickly you come around here and get them out of chests there and this is also where you can the staff can relax uh, when they're not uh, selling but once you're done with that you just come outside the mega store through the exit only door which is this door and then yeah uh, you can go enjoy the match so uh, I hope you enjoy I'll just go back up to the top to show you uh, what it looks like from like all around the top but I hope you enjoyed uh, or enjoy what my what I've built it, this took very very long to build as I said uh, I made it block by block I put each block down 
no, one by one, and it took f forever. The scoreboard there, the seats are, com uh, are all wood, but they're quite comfortable, if I had to say so, which I did. Um, so, once you've bought food and stuff, and like, you, it's half time. You come around the top, like you've already seen, yes, I know. But, uh, hopefully, I, I can eventually show you this again without it being laggy, but I'll show you that in a minute as well. But, uh, around here, it's, um, this all what it looks like. Like, uh, you can see out the glass, you can eat food, you can just wander around the whole stadium. So, it's all, it's all, uh, symmetrical with paintings on the uh, walls and it's uh, I feel like it's quite a nice stadium I worked really hard on it down there there's another toilet and the box you can buy food here uh, this is seat B is it? B or D and yeah and there's more toilets see it's all sim symmetrical apart from the paintings of course and the what the uh, uh, these where you buy your food look like they were, they're all different to each stand but yeah this is C so last one no it's what but uh, that's this is what the stadium looks like from here it's quite a nice view uh, all of it's different you can uh, I'll go show you what the this thing looks like it's the uh, ever it's always burning flame here so it's always burning it's got the nice little gold around it the, w the ceiling's made out of wood which i think is very nice uh, as you can tell this would have taken ages to do block by block one just placed it oh it took so long but i'm hoping it's worth it so yeah, this is what the outside looks like from the roof. Come down here, up here, more detail of what this bit looks like. It's made of glass and wood and uh, stone brick mostly because they're the nicest looking things. It's got pillars to support it because I thought it looked a bit stupid just floating there. So I had things like pillars keeping it up and yeah so it has the water fountain kind of thing and all the, around the stadium is cobblestone brick and grass which <laughs> took really long to lay down uh, but yeah this is what the stadium looks like am I on fire? did I put it on fire? I feel like I put it on okay put it on fire just to show you one more time what it looks like from the outside whilst you hit that like button and the subscribe button because there'll be more videos like this and it'll mean a lot if you could do both those things and maybe share this video around try uh... let's uh... nah i'm not gonna set a target because it won't reach any but uh... make sure you you like favorite if you wish subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and maybe a survival uh... minecraft series later on I'm going to be working on a big po project like this very soon, so stay tuned for that. Uh, like I said, hit like, it will mean a lot, it will help support me as I make my way around the whole of the outside and it struggles to load it. But yeah, so like, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye.